Hey guys, Paul here from Military History Gear Review, and today we're going to be checking out some gear from the Army of North Vietnam. Now, North Vietnam had one of the most effective fighting forces in modern history. Between 1945 and 1980, they fought and defeated the Japanese, the French, the Americans, and the Chinese militaries. But how was a small agrarian nation able to be so effective on the battlefield? Well, one of the answers is their innovative logistics system. So we're going to be taking a look at just how the North Vietnamese Army was supplied and fed, and we're going to be cooking up some food that would have felt right at home to a North Vietnamese soldier. So stick around. So, how was the North Vietnamese Army so effective on the battlefield? Well, one of their secrets was that they were so much more efficient with their supplies than their enemies. For example, a United States Army mechanized infantry division needed about 500 tons of supplies every day to operate. In contrast, a North Vietnamese Army division required just five. So what were their secrets to being so efficient with their supplies? Well, on the individual soldier level, they had a, some pretty cool gear to help them out. I've got two pieces of it here with me today. The first is this rice tube. All this is is a big canvas tube tied at either end full of rice. Now I've got about two pounds of rice in here and you can see it's barely full. So this would have had probably 15, 20 pounds of rice and those, those Vietnamese soldiers like me would have draped it across their backpack like this and it would have had almost two weeks worth of food right there. In contrast, can you imagine two weeks worth of U.S. Army sea rations? It would have been almost impossible for an individual soldier to carry that many cans and boxes of stuff. Their other secret, of course, was this little bowl. You can see it's got a cool little carrying case with the North Vietnamese Army star on it. And this bowl itself is nothing special. It's just metal, stamped metal, with a ceramic coating. And, but, you can use this for measuring or portioning out um, your food. And of course, they would have had a Soviet or Chinese copy uh, mess kit. You can see I've got that here. Now, the secret to being so efficient was that the North Vietnamese Army was able to rely on the Viet Cong guerrillas. Now, you might recall that the North Vietnamese Army was, of course, a communist state. The government of South Vietnam was not. But there was a large communist insurgency within the South, and the North Vietnamese government took advantage of that. So the Viet Cong forces in the South all year would collect a rice tax from local farmers. They would then take that rice and store it in strategic locations near their home villages, so that when the armies from North Vietnam arrived, they would link up with their counterparts and would show them where they could get many days of supply of rice for their troops. Pretty incredible. Not only that, but the North, the Viet Cong would organize local non-combatants from their villages to go to the market and buy a little bit of extra food or supplies. Not enough to arouse suspicion, but if every person in a village bought a little extra pork, a little extra vegetables or fish sauce or whatever, then they would end up with enough to really supplement the food supplies of that North Vietnamese army. And of course, the North Vietnamese army was made of, Nor of North Vietnamese. And these folks were experts at foraging, hunting, and farming. And so you would have those soldiers go out into the woods nearby and hunt bush meat or forage for vegetables. And in some cases, even plant small plots of land where they would cultivate foods like sweet potatoes or rice themselves or what have you, right? So we are gonna be cooking something today that would have felt totally familiar and to a North Vietnamese soldier. Of course, we've got rice. We've got right here in the rice sack. We also have marinating pork belly. Pork belly is an iconic Vietnamese food and they definitely would have been able to purchase this at almost any market in Vietnam. And of course, to top it off, we're gonna have some pickled vegetables. Vietnamese style pickling is great because it makes food last for months with no refrigeration. And it's just white vinegar and sugar. And we've got jalapenos, carrots, and daikon radish. 
all things that are grown locally in Vietnam. So let's get cooking. Well, as you can see, we ended up with a pretty good looking and delicious meal. We've got the pork belly, it's been marinated and we uh, grilled it up on the griddle. We've got our pickled vegetables that we were just able to stick in a jar, and of course our rice. And in Vietnamese uh, food traditions, this is considered a pretty complete meal. Vegetable, meat, carbs. Um, this is definitely something that has uh, great nutritional value. And let's see how it tastes. That was excellent. That was excellent. A little salty, spicy, like you can really taste the ginger. This is excellent. Yeah, Vietnamese are definitely onto something. Yeah, this canteen cooks up the rice perfectly. Using the, uh, the griddle as a lid, really let the rice uh, cook all the way. And pickled vegetables are a little sweet, a little sour. Yeah, I'm gonna mix this all up. This is gonna be great. Well guys, we got to see today how the North Vietnamese army resupplied themselves, what they would have eaten, and how it enabled them to be just such an effective fighting force. If you like this video, please like it down below, subscribe to the channel, and uh, leave a comment if you can think of anything else you want me to investigate or any gear you want me to check out. And until next time, I'll see you guys on the trail.